Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today is my February 2023 BoxyCharm unboxing. Just got it in the mail today and we are going to dig right in. I have no idea what's in it. No, I haven't seen any spoilers. I haven't even peeked. The baby's sleeping, so she'll probably be joining us in a little bit. All right, let's get into this. So this box is kind of beat up. I don't think you guys can see that, but it's just kind of dented here. Hopefully everything's okay. Um, and I feel like the box is bigger. It looks like a little thicker than normal. So the first thing I'm seeing in here, this is the card that says BoxyCharm, treat your heart out. Treat your heart out. Oh, like eat your heart out. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it is Valentine's next week. So, and then on the back, it says epic news is coming. We've got something epic in the works and can't wait to tell you all about it. Follow us on Instagram and get excited for the biggest beauty news of the year. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Oh, and usually the card tells you what's in the box and all the information. So that's not on here. That's different. Okay. So I don't know if there's anything else in here that tells you what's... Oh, no. I already see something that's disappointing. I'm so dramatic. If you guys saw my last Boxy Charm unboxing, I was super dramatic. Oh, I don't see a card in here, so that's going to be interesting. So there's like no information. Okay. So the first thing in here, I'm going to try to be positive. <laughs> okay. This is from YC Collection. You get a little marble sponge duo. Okay. These are really nice. They do feel really nice and squishy. Um, they're cute, but nothing that we haven't seen before. So, okay. And I have no idea how much they are. Otherwise I would tell you. The thing I'm seeing in here is, uh, something I already own. Uh, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their dual ended angled brush. So yeah, you can use this for your eyebrows. This brush is just kind of like, I don't know, it's a little too soft for my brows. The one I use, I use this, I use this brush from Benefit and this one is just like, I don't know, it's really, it's hard and it's more dense and it just works really good for your brows. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I'm pretty sure I have the same exact one. And again, I have no clue how much this is, so. Okay, next thing I'm seeing in here is already opened. <laughs> this is from Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. This is the one that I was able to choose. I had to go on and um, pick like what color I wanted. And this looks very nice. This uh, Rare Beauty, I don't really know a whole lot about them. I'm... I feel like it's a celebrity's company, isn't it? I'm not really sure. Um, okay, this is a very interesting applicator. <laughs> Wait, this is foundation, right? Yeah, weightless foundation. Foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. Um, and I got it in the color 210N just because I went on there and I like tried to figure out like what color would be a good match for me. I'm gonna try any on right now because I do have makeup already on, but okay, I was excited about this. Maybe I could look up the prices for you guys and let you know. Okay, so this Marble Beauty Sponge Duo says it retails for $20. It's saying that this brush, this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, each retails for $18. This is by Selena Gomez, okay? And this retails for $30. Um, I'm really curious to hear what the like epic news is that's coming. Do you guys have any spoilers? Do you know what's happening? Uh, I'm just afraid that BoxyCharm is gonna like really throw in some major changes and I have a feeling I won't be sticking around, especially if the price goes up again. I just don't feel like it's going to be worth it. All right, the next thing I'm seeing in here, this is from Trust Fun Beauty. Uh, Lipgasm, what are you? Um, uh, it's called Unprofessional, so I'm assuming that's the color. Or I mean, that's a very bright in-your-face color. Um, I wish that I like could tell you guys more about this. Is this a liquid lip? What are you? Um, oh yeah, so that's pretty, uh, pigmented. Uh, it seems to be like a lip gloss. It's kind of shiny, uh, pretty pigmented. I'd rather see a color like this than like the reds and the, like the really dark ones. Um, but I just don't, don't know how often I would wear this. It's so bright. Um, so it's actually pretty with, I put it over my, um, 
my Buxom like lip plumper gloss. So it looks pretty over that, but I feel like it was if it was too bright or dark, I just don't think it would look right on me, but it looks pretty like with this. Well, there's one on eBay for $10. Uh, so yeah, it looks like these, like I don't see, I don't even know if that is the right one. I'm on their website and like, I, I don't know. The ones that are on their site say that they're $18, so I don't know. I don't see this particular color and the packaging looks different even, so I don't know if this is old or what. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on BoxyJoy right now? I feel like they are like, I just feel like they've changed a lot recently. Last but not least, this is from Beauty Bakery. Proof is in the put-in. This is an eyeshadow palette. Beauty Bakery, they always have cute palettes and cute little things. Uh, so yeah, it looks like this will probably be like a, I don't know, maybe like springy, summery colors. So this is what this looks like. The colors are fine. Um, pretty sure I have other palettes with these colors in it, but this would be a good one for like for every day. Um, no mirror. Oh, just being a brat. So this palette is $38. So, okay. So if I can remember what everything is, we'll say this one was 38. This foundation was 30. 18 for lip gloss, 20 for the sponges, and what did I say? 18 for the brush. $124 they're saying it's worth. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just not super excited about anything in it. Um, all right, well, yeah, another month I'm pretty underwhelmed. I almost feel like they're forcing you to like pay for like the premium or the luxe boxes to really get like better products. And does anyone else feel that way? Um, let me know your guys' thoughts. Are you happy with BoxyCharm? What, have you been with, I mean, I've been with them for a while. I did take a break for a little bit, but I don't know. I just feel like stuff has changed recently and I'm not super impressed with them. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you got. Do you guys think this box seems like a good value? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not impressed with it lately. So. All right, we're just gonna end the video here. I really have nothing else to say. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and we will see you all soon. Bye.